Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're back in War Thunder and we're looking at the HE-51B-2 or basically the HE-51 with, well it's a hydroplane it's the HE-51 which is a hydroplane, instead of wheels you have these two humongous floats on it the way that you got this plane, if anybody has, you basically had a random chance to unlock it if you completed the five kills on the War Thunder uh, birthday basically uh, the two-year anniversary. So I got this, you could either get this, the DB7, the TB3, a lag, uh, the Skyrocket, and because I got the, I already had the Skyrocket and the TB3, then I got this thing. Uh, I obviously hadn't got the lag, but I actually prefer this over the lag, weirdly enough, because why would I want another carbon copy of another lag. I have plenty of them. At least this thing offers something different. The DB7 is basically a Boston or a Havoc with different guns. Uh, just really a skin, but with this thing it's slightly different. It's a bit quirky. It has something new to it. So the first thing we have to talk about is obviously with its floats it doesn't start on the ground. It starts with an airspawn, which is a wonderful thing for a plane in a biplane match mostly. There have been many matches where I've come up against Russians in 2.0 and 2.3 planes, such as the MiG-334 or 35, I believe it's called. Uh, the many lags, the many MiGs and stuff like that, but I tell you what, nah, you know how it is. Uh, when we look at the armament of this thing, I believe it has two 7.7s, so I'll just check that for you. Well, two 7.92s, so basically 7.7s, slightly larger cal caliber, not a massive difference. Uh, you get a thousand rounds, which seems to be a lot, but just remember, you've got two 7.92s, they're not going to do a lot of damage. I do run stealth on this plane because, well, it's so low velocity, you can still see your shells even with stealth, and obviously you want as many bullets as do something, uh, to do something, sorry. With a lot of belts, you get these tracer bullets or these practice shells, or even these balls, which just don't do anything so trying to take them away is obviously a good thing as we can see here I'm trying to fight off a bomber a Blenheim the Blenheim has more looking back in the uh, in the form of weaponry than I have going forward so that is an issue um, <laughs> at lower levels but you know it's still a decent alright plane the fact that it gets an air spawn basically means that you will be able to counter the bombers that you come up against which has been an issue for the Germans at lower levels. Um, in arcade, obviously everybody gets an airspawn so it's not as big of a deal, but definitely in realistic it makes a massive difference. When you're trying to kill those PBYs, or when you're trying to kill those Blenheims, or even a Boston, I'm not sure you can even face an A20 anymore in a biplane, except for maybe the Chica. But you, you can counteract them, you can counter their altitude advantage, which is something biplanes have struggled with, for obvious reasons. It's very hard to climb in them, they're obviously much more turn fighters than an energy fighters, so rate of climb is obviously not going to be huge. Where with this thing its rate of climb is alright, it is obviously heavier than a normal HE-51 because of those, well, big feet it has. It's basically wearing clogs, if you know what clogs are. And it doesn't do a lot of damage, as you can see, I'm putting a ton of shots into all of these boys and not really doing a lot, but still getting hits. And because it is premium, you also get a bonus when it comes to uh, basically uh, lines and research. It used to actually be at the end of the HE-51 tree, but now they've actually moved it into the premium slot on the right side of the tech tree, basically confirming that it is premium. Which is nice, you know, if, if you are a beginner to the game, then this would be a great aircraft to have. It would be a good grinder if you're looking to move and progress through the German tree uh, quickly, or at least get to the first BF 109s and even the first Fokker Wars. For me personally, obviously I'm in tier 4, early tier 5 right now in the German tree, so it's not really that useful. Uh, it's pretty useless. It is one of those planes which is going to be added to the list that I have of planes that I will fly when I don't really have anything else to do. Uh, basically if I want to relax or just want to take a chill pill every so often, that's basically tier 1 and some of tier 2 for me right now. It's basically just a way to relax away from, well, either getting seal clubbed or seal clubbing, uh, in my opinion. Because at uh, higher levels, teamwork seems to be 
uh, very much a large part of it, where at the lower tiers, in my opinion, individual skill definitely rings true, and it wins you battles. So, people may think that landing this thing is an issue, since it has floats instead of wheels. Well, you would be wrong. Landing this thing is completely easy, as you can see. Coming in at a very modest speed, touching down, and voila. Slap the brakes on, and you lose so much speed so fast, and obviously... Because you can't take off again, uh, because you're not on the water, it will airspawn you up in the air once again. Which, so, if you're trying to get away from people who are coming after you, then it is quite a handy little method. But just remember, if you are repairing or reloading, you can't get back up in the air. You can go at 100% throttle, and this thing will not move, because it's basically stuck in place by its float. So, just take that into account. If you are, and if if somebody is trying to follow you back to the base, and you are basically, you're not sure if he's going to attack you or not, it's better to stay in the air before you go to land. But landing-wise, this thing is a very easy to land. So let's talk about its secondary weapons, or, well, the joke of the secondary weapons. They are, in effect, absolutely useless. When we look at secondary weapons, you get six 10 kilogram bombs. Just think about that, that's basically 60 kilograms uh, overall. Of course it is on a biplane, so we're not going to make that much of a deal with it. But what's even the point of 6 10 kilogram bombs? What are you going to take out? I doubt that would even kill an AA. I've tried to drop it on armoured cars, medium tanks, light tanks, heavy tanks, and I haven't killed a single damn thing. But then again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have to hit them exactly on a precise point that somebody on the forums will tell me about where right in the back of the ass of a light tank of something like, I don't know, a T-26, that is where you have to specifically drop that bomb without a reticle and you will be able to kill it. So, uh, do some testing for yourself if you have this thing. Uh, when it comes to looking at it compared to the other planes uh, that you could have got, obviously the other planes are a lot better. There is no doubt about it. Uh, the Skyrocket is a decent grinder for the Americans. The TB3 is the mothership that we all know and love, or the Armored Snail. And then we look at stuff like the DB7, which is actually very useful in combat because it has front guns, back guns, everywhere guns, and bombs. And then you have this. But, you know, it's a biplane. It's nice to have. It's another one of those uh, vintage things which should basically be left in the hangar and not really flown. Basically an item, just like the PO2, to go, look what I have, it's shiny. Whereas, it's not something that you shouldn't really take into battle that much. Basically because, well, you run into big Russian scary things with 20mm. Or you may run into a team of Poes. You never know. Uh, stranger things have happened in War Thunder. But as you can see, it's very maneuverable and it's quite easy to control, the air spawn helps a lot, that's basically the conclusion. Uh, the weaknesses, obviously it's firepower aren't great, so the bombs are useless, so never take them. Uh, it isn't going to give you a lot of RP or grind or anything like that since, well, it is very low down the tech tree. And don't waste your times 2 on it, which is exactly what I did, because I completely forgot I had a times 2. Yes, that was wonderful. I have just lost about maybe three, four thousand RP on that game. But anyway, it's an alright plane. And if you have it, take it out for some relaxing flying sometimes. Go and sit it in a river, see if you can take off again, something like that. Maybe use it to go under bridges, you never know. So, cheers and I'll catch you next time.